Are you Richie from Brady. Boston? Your accent. Hey, where's your name? Yeah, I don't have a Boston accent. I'm, I play football in Boston. I'm sorry, man. I can't it. understand the words you're saying. Another shooting last night in Illinois. Richie here is referring to the February 15th, 2019 shooting at the Henry Pratt Company in Aurora, Illinois. I found it strange how quickly everybody everybody reacted to that, like Trump, the mainstream, the mayor, etc. But I wouldn't be one bit shocked to find out there was a drill going on at the exact same time, like there always is. Of course, there was no drill going on at Henry Pratt Company. But little things like facts and data just get in the way of conspiracies and spouting shit out of your mouth. So why even bother looking them up? I got a couple of emails and they and people kept calling me an enemy of science. Richie from Boston, you're an enemy of science. Ding ding ding! What do we have for Johnny? I'm no scientist, but I've been into the stars, sun, moon, and sky in science since I was a kid. It was the only topic I ever had any interest in. So, you are admitting to us that you only have a middle school understanding of science? Somehow I'm not too surprised. My issue with science is science is telling us that the, the Earth is naturally heating up on its own. I assume by heating up on its own. You are referring to climate change and not geothermal heat, right? Yeah, I'll just make that assumption. When we damn well know and have the patents to prove it, they've been messing with the weather for my entire life. I have provided below a list of 100 patents for some form of weather modification, dating back as far as 1891. I've also provided a conspiracy-tinged link to how nutty people think weather modification is going on now. It is worth noting that basically none of these involve heating up the earth. Instead, most of these are about cooling the earth, or producing rain, or gaining data, or removing pollution. It is also noteworthy that filing a patent does not equal a working prototype, nor an actively used technology. The fun part of all this is that Richie does not back up his claims. He never provides evidence or citation. He just yells and lies and spews his bullshit. Somehow, Richie thinks the fact that weather modification patents exist proves that climate change does not. Simply stating it does not make it so. What it makes you is a enemy of science. Science is supposed to be test, prove, test again, repeat, and publish. The end goal of science is not to publish, but that's besides the point. It is true that the vast majority of published articles involve experiments and tests. However, scientists are not out to prove, but rather to provide insight. It is bad form in a peer-reviewed paper to see sentences such as, This proves. Our understanding may be correct, but Richie fell down a rabbit hole with his thinking that science's job is to prove things. Its job is to help understand. Science now is Evolution's real, even though we have absolutely zero evidence of it. And Darwin himself said he was the biggest critic of his theory. Here's your problem, Richie. You think Darwin still has relevance to modern biology and evolutionary thinking. Perhaps if you would have paid attention in high school bio class, you'd have learned that the theory has moved on in the past 150 years or so. Nothing evolves into anything else. It doesn't work like that. If an animal was slowly, slowly over millions and millions and billions of years evolving into something else, there would be evidence of it. And there isn't. But now, science talks about black holes as though they are a proven, repeatable, testable, publishable thing. And they're not. Not at all. They're completely and totally theory. And yet science talks about them and teaches them 
as though it's old school, proven, we know all about that, we can reproduce it, we can test it, and they can. You want repeatable tests, Richie? Black holes are exactly that. They are a repeatable explanation to celestial events and movements. They are theoretically possible due to the mass, and observable due to their interactions with stars and planets. A black hole fits perfectly into your own definition of science, so why do you hate it so much? Test, prove, test again, repeat, and publish. Going to Mars, landing on the moon, a state in the United States, Ohio, gave a filmmaker a grant to prove that we went to the moon. The name of his movie is, Did We Go? Because he couldn't conclusively prove it whatsoever at all. Aaron Radin, the director of Did We Go, got a grant from the University of Cincinnati, not the state of Ohio, as if that fucking matters. As for the movie, it's just another in a long line of poorly made moon hoaxer movies. It provides nothing interesting or original. Hell, the website doesn't seem to have been updated since the fucking Matrix came out. You gotta try better than some bullshit movie to disprove the moon landing, Richie. Where were you on July 20th, 1969? Uh, I was on the surface of the moon. Hmm? Well, did you see the twitch? Uh -huh. The little mouth twitch? I mean, the, the what? Genders. Science is pushing genders down the throats of every human being. Genders are a fake construct made up by the Luciferian science. Hail Satan. Male, female. You know who agrees with me? The American Academy or the American College of Pediat... Pediat... Today, Junior? Pediatric doctors in John Hopkins University, transgender, gay, lesbian, all that is considered a mental disorder. One, it's the American College of Pediatricians. Two, the American College of Pediatricians is not a college, but is actually a conservative advocacy group that promotes traditional marriage and pro-life. Three, the American College of Pediatricians does not list mental disorders. Four, the American Psychiatric Association is the one that writes the DSM, which lists mental disorders. Five, the American Psychiatric Association removed homosexuality from the list in 1952. Six, you have no idea what the fuck you are talking about. Stop spewing bullshit. Today, they push it as though it's just no big deal. It has absolutely nothing to do with the agenda the chemicals, the GMOs, the preservatives, the fluoride, and everything else. Just to remind you, this wonderful trip started at a mass shooting, then went to climate change, weather modification, evolution, black holes, the moon hoax, genders, homosexuality, and ended on GMOs, preservatives, and fluoride. But wait! There's more! Hang on to your seat, baby, cause this one's a screamer! If you really think there's a remote control up on, remote control car up on Mars, running on solar panels and sending signals back from a distant planet to Earth, you're out of your mind. 9-11, science told us that was done by a guy in a cave. Isn't that ironic?